And it's amazing, isn't it? It's it's only 15 days ago that the uh, invasion, the Russian invasion of Ukraine happened and the whole world changed uh, more, more for some of us than others, depending on our proximity to the whole situation. And we see these maps every day. The, the pink uh, marks the, the, the limit of the Russian invasion at the moment from, from the north, from the east through Luhansk and Donetsk and up from the south through Crimea as well. And we know that this morning there's been uh, repeated bombing of Kyiv and they're closing in on the capital. The west of the country is still uh, relatively free at the moment, but we don't know how long it will be. It's a very desperate situation. And we've seen these pictures of, of so many cars all trying to get out of Kyiv a couple of weeks ago and huge traffic jams. This picture in the middle here was taken from the uh, the railway station in Kharkiv in the northeast of the country just yesterday where people trying to board the trains and get out of Ukraine. And on the, on the right here, these are international students in the city of Sumy just uh, a week ago who were trapped and have since managed to uh, escape uh, to, to Hungary. Uh, Two million refugees so far. The WHO thinks there will be about 4 million altogether. By far, the majority of them now, actually 1.5 million have gone into Poland, but all of these countries, Slovakia, uh, Hungary, Romania, Moldova, Russia, and of course, the rest of Europe, uh, people are pouring in, and most of the men are staying behind to, to fight. This is our ICMDA map with Ukraine in the middle here. And the green countries are member countries of ICMDA, and the orange countries are countries where we have national movements, but that are not yet fully affiliated, but we're working with them. And then the blue countries, we have contacts. And so you can see all of these key countries around here where the refugees are going, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Moldova, there are Christian doctors and dentists who are involved in caring for refugees. Our last uh, Eurasia or, and combined Eurasia Europe uh, regional leaders conference was in Kyiv. This is just three years ago in, in Kyiv with people from all over the region. Our big priorities in ICMDA are three. The first one is to provide for international medical students who fled Ukraine, who need food, shelter, clothing, travel assistance and support. And uh, there are tens of thousands of international students studying in Ukraine. Many of them are studying medicine in every city of Ukraine. And most of these people have now left the country, but and many have gone home, but many still have needs. Secondly, was to resource the members of the Christian Medical Association of Ukraine, one of our member body, or all of whom have stayed behind, as far as we know, and who are, they need medical supplies, drugs and equipment to treat injured and sick people, particularly internally displaced people. And then our third priority is to support member groups in Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Moldova, who are caring for vast numbers of refugees and are also close to the border. Just some examples, Jacobs uh, from Nigeria, he was the leader of the uh, medical, school group in Kharkiv, this city here, which has been so much on the news. Uh, and we were in a Bible study with him when he was on his mobile phone in a bomb shelter on the day the war broke out. And then we didn't hear from him for two to three days. He's now safe. He's escaped to Hungary along with many others. And in fact, uh, I, Jim Pipon and I spoke to this group on Zoom just on Thursday this week. There were altogether about 40 of them who gathered in Hungary. They're all from Kharkiv and Sumy. They'd all got out safely and uh, they were thinking about what the next steps were. So you can see most of these people come from Sub-Saharan Africa. And this is Jacobs here, who was one of the leaders. They've kept in touch with each other. And then there's people in Ukraine, particularly Rudy Migovic, who is the leader of the Christian Medical Association of, of Ukraine. He's based in Lviv, this big city on the Polish border. And I was speaking to him just this morning. He has 
um, uh, arranged an extraordinary uh, center with a warehouse to receive and sort medical supplies and drugs, and he can distribute them all over Ukraine and get to places where the Red Cross and, and uh, Doctors Without Borders cannot get. Let's remember to keep praying for Rudy. He's just a second year resident. And then another example, Vadim is based in the north here. He's in a church of 800 people. He's a family doctor and they have uh, six huge buses and they're taking internally displaced people to the Polish border. We've been supporting him. So these are some supplies that uh, we sent money to Rudy to buy uh, emergency equipment. This is our Polish Christian medical group who have just sent some supplies into Ukraine, medical supplies. And this here is uh, a emergency kit with ambu bags and airways and everything, bandages from Medical Aid International. We're sending 24 of these into, into uh, Kiev, sorry, in, into Lviv in Ukraine via Lublin next Wednesday. They're going off along with a lot of other supplies. So ICMDA is working in, in tandem with an organization called Medical Aid International, who supply equipment for mission hospitals, drugs and uh, consumables and supplies and, and other equipment. They've been doing this for many, many years. And so they have lots of equipment available to go to Ukraine and we're working with them to deliver that. We launched an appeal uh, just uh, 14 days ago yesterday and we've raised so far this morning 72,000 pounds. So that's uh, 94,000 US dollars. And we've made five grants already and there are more grants coming in. And uh, we're, uh, we, we run daily updates on the website so you can see what's, what's happening. And then of course, most importantly, we've been organizing a number of prayer meetings for people around the world as well to come together to pray at this time. And let's remember that Ukraine is a country where 80% of people identify as, as Christians, whether they're uh, Orthodox or Catholic or Evangelical. And this is a nation which is, is praying and we, we need as the world to pray with it as well. So there's a little update of what's happening, what uh, ICMDA is doing.